Well, it's that time of year again. Springtime in Wisconsin. The bees are buzzing, the birds are chirping. At least that should be the sounds I'm hearing. But all I can hear is this. The incessant hordes of recently fledged European starlings drowning out all other sounds. This odd tone is made by the juveniles pestering and begging their parents for food. Now when they first fledge, the babies are so dumb, they don't even know how to recognize food when it's right in front of them. This is the time when they are most vulnerable. This is the time for you to strike. But you're not going to strike the juvenile. See, these juveniles are so dependent on the parents, they won't even fly when you shoot the parent. So here's the part where I gotta apologize, and I almost didn't make the video because of this. My SD card runs out of space right as I'm about to take my shot. They were both shot at about 40 yards. They were both completely anchored by the FX hybrids, Ugh, but I failed to get it on video. Because of that, I almost didn't make this video altogether. I was so frustrated, I took a break from editing, got in my truck, drove out to the farm, and took out my frustrations on the best birds out there. So, to apologize, I will show you the shots that I took while I was out there. Now back to our original storyline. So we've established, shoot the parent first and the juveniles will stay there. If you shoot a juvenile first, the parent will flee and all the juveniles will follow that parent. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is always, always to shoot the adult first. Now, why do I hate this bird so much? Well, it's an invader from Europe, and I know it's a little hypocrisy <laughs> with respect to invaders from Europe living in America. But that said, these things do a real number on native cavity nesting birds, especially woodpeckers. I showcased this in a video many years ago where I took out all of the juveniles before they had fledged. The reason why these guys are so destructive isn't just their nature, it's their fighting style. They fight dirty. Their style is to grab the beak of the bird they're fighting, holding it away from their own body, and then using their own beak like a knife to repeatedly stab that bird until death. Some predators will eat them, but by and large, the native prey are easier to catch than the starlings, which are very powerful flyers. About the only even match for a starling is another starling. Here's two males having a territorial dispute. When these guys meet, it's like a Mexican standoff. And I actually looked up Mexican standoff to see if it's derogatory. Ugh, there's not really good consensus on that, so I'm going to keep using it until somebody can think of another way to describe this stalemate. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Eventually, the juveniles will take on the adult plumage, get smart, and they will become the primary targets the next year. 
So thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you for color coding my least favorite bird species. So now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah.